Welcome back to Giving on Plum TV. Trevor, earlier in the show, Nick Kristoff talked about the importance of ensuring that kids in the developing world have access to education. Right. Are you finding philanthropists in the United States are also dedicating their time to education here? Yeah. You know, America's public schools are in crisis. Mm -hmm. We're seeing uh, academic achievement decline in many ways. And in many ways, things have gotten worse over the past 20 or 30 years. And different philanthropists are tackling different pieces of the puzzle, mm -hmm. different issues within education overall. Mm -hmm. And I think our next uh, guest is really tackling something incredibly important, right. math and science. Bernard Harris. Bernard Harris, an amazing man, an astronaut and a surgeon and basically a guy that all of us would <laughs> like to be like. Right, and let's not forget that he's the first African American to walk in space. Right, right. He's a really an extraordinary man. Let's hear from Bernard Harris, a man who dares to dream. <laughs> I was 13 years old, and when I saw those guys land on the moon, I knew what I wanted to do in life. And so with that dream kind of hanging out there in, in front of me, then I began to kind of build a path to becoming an astronaut, and part of that path was becoming a physician. I'm Bernard Harris, the president and founder of the Harris Foundation. Well, the Harris Foundation has been around since 1998, but actually the programs in which it supports has been around for many years. We started uh, one of our programs called the Dare to Dream program, which is a crime prevention program, the ExxonMobil Bernard Harris Summer Science Camp, and then the third program is called the Dream Tour. And this is where we pick 10 cities a year where we go in to communities highlighting the need for math and science. So it's a public awareness program. So you're going to use you sure can. Yeah. You sure can. All right. So be careful. Use teamwork. We wanted to figure out a way to impact education for America's youth, and uh, I think it's I think it's important for us to um, ensure that uh, we have a future in this country. And one way to ensure that is to invest in the young people today, and that's what we're doing uh, through our programs. And by doing that, we are ensuring that when these kids. Uh, graduate from high school and finish college, that they'll have the skill set necessary to run the country and also for us to be, remain leaders in the world. So the Dare to Dream program was established uh, because of my visits to the juvenile detention center and looking at the kids that were uh, there in, in that facility and asked the question, what do you want to do when you grow up? only two hands were raised and I figured out that something was wrong with this picture. The young people in this group had lost the ability to see themselves in the future and that's what I call the dream. Because if you're not able to see yourself in the future, you think you have no future and you're only working for today, that's when you kind of get in trouble. So we designed the Dare to Dream program to go into elementary schools as a preventive uh, program to keep kids out of juvenile detention. So the camp that we have here is absolutely free to young people. Um, so they come here and they spend two weeks. It's a residential camp. Uh, so they've got not only the educational experience of being here on the university, but their counselors are college students that are closer to their age so that they can act as mentors. And all of this creates a, a very nurturing environment to promote math and science education. My name is Chase Upshaw. I came to the camp because I had an interest in um, math, science, and engineering, and I wanted to learn more about those subjects so it could help me in a career. Now the dream tour uh, has come about because I want to raise the awareness for the need for math and science education, the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics education, how it is important to the workforce of this country. And so this is not only targeting young people in the cities that we go to, but targeting the communities that we're, in, we're involved in to uh, you know, start this movement to ensure that the local leaders, the community leaders, the state leaders that support education um, are supporting the right thing, that they're focused in the uh, areas that are going to really make a difference in this country. 
Yeah, an astronaut's dream is to blast off on, on the spaceship, and that's pretty incredible in itself. But when we're up in orbit, the ultimate goal of an astronaut is to don a 350-pound suit and walk outside. I got a chance to do that on my second mission. It was wonderful. I remember going out the hatch and uh, seeing the beautiful Earth. It was just incredible. My dream job would probably be an engineer or a doctor. If you have a goal, have a dream, you have to have that, and you're willing to work hard for it, the rewards are great. There is nothing that you can't do. Nothing is impossible to you. What a great message for all of our children. And I love the way he puts it, you know, that he's giving them the skills to run the country. Coming up, we're going to look at a piece with Goldie Hawn, who's also educating kids, but in a surprising way, by making them more mindful. You're watching Giving on Plum TV.